So to answer this question in the studio, uh, Masaki's got an original poem for us. Uh, Jason, let's go ahead and take the computer audio all the way down. Here's uh, Masaki Takahashi with To Love Like a Dyson Vacuum. Um, often when I hear new writers, they write from anger. Um, I'm not a able to write from anger because often I find anger to be super myopic. You can't see the whole perspective of the situation. So when I first got divorced, I couldn't write about like, hey, I hate you, you divorced me, this didn't work out. It, it wasn't at the whole perspective of the entire relationship. Instead, I had to learn to forgive myself first and see the bigger view of it. When she and I first moved in together, she bought a brand spanking new Netgear router from Best Buy, ripped the packaging with excitement to start our new life together, plugged it in and wondered why we didn't have the internet. I stopped and told her, we just moved in. We don't have service yet. She asked me what I meant and I asked her where she thought the internet comes from. She raised her arms and said, the air? I laughed so hard and so loud the same way I loved her, but I don't think she really liked that. So that night she ordered Comcast. There will always be things I love that will never love me back. For example, last night's Olympic broil. Sometimes an extra order of deep fried mushrooms is too good to say no to. Until I overindulge forgetting the leftovers I had at home. Home, the thing I've always wanted, but now I take for granted. Cooked meals and dinner conversations about chores, the dishes left in the sink. The sink I will feel when these moments pass. They're just things I can't stomach anymore. There'll always be things I love that will never love me back, like getting super drunk off of Long Island's the night before Thanksgiving, <laughs> while Jeremy's probably there at Crunchy's playing music, then forgetting I left my credit card at the bar only to realize I'm hungover with no way of getting food. <laughs> the way I imbibe leaving everything I need behind, we will call it being young, we will call it wanting different things, we will call it, and I will be left hung up, leaving me hungry again. There will always be things I love that will never love me back, like my wife when she left. I was too busy trying to be something, too busy working, too busy writing, too busy to realize the stars in her eyes were already dead by the time I saw them again. Mm. I'm just a hangman who forgot to spell happiness. Time pickpocketed my treasured memories. I've written so many poems about her and set each one on fire just so I could remember how flames die. Mm. There will always be things I love that will never love me back, like my Dyson vacuum. When it started to go up in smoke, I called my now ex-wife and told her about it. She asked me if I changed the filter. I told her it's a backless vacuum. She asked me what I think happens to the microscopic particles that are too small to be trapped in the side of the bag or the dust cup. I raised my arms and said, the air? <laughs> Yes. Awesome. Mm. 